Sacramento Spanish, Sacramento is the capital city of the U.S. state of California and the seat of Sacramento County. Located at the confluence of the Sacramento River and the American River in northern California's Sacramento Valley, Sacramento's estimated 2018 population of 501,334 makes it the sixth-largest city in California and the ninth-largest capital in the United States. Sacramento is the seat of the California Assembly, the Governor of California, and Supreme Court of California, making it the state's political center and a hub for lobbying and think tanks. Sacramento is also the cultural and economic core of the Sacramento metropolitan area, which had 2010 population of 2,414,783, making it the fifth largest in California. Sacramento is the fastest growing major city in California, owing to its status as notable financial center on the West Coast and as a major educational hub, home of Sacramento State University and University of California, Davis. Similarly, Sacramento is a major center for the California healthcare industry, as the seat of Sutter Health, the world-renowned UC Davis Medical Center, and the UC Davis School of Medicine, and notable tourist destination in California, as the site of the California Museum, the Crocker Art Museum, California Hall of Fame, the California State Capitol Museum, and the old Sacramento State Historic Park. Sacramento is known for its evolving contemporary culture, dubbed the most hipster city in California. In 2002, the Harvard University Civil Rights Project conducted for Time magazine named Sacramento, America's most diverse city. Before the arrival of the Spanish, the area was inhabited by the Nisanan people indigenous peoples of California. Spanish cavalryman Gabriel Moraga named surveyed and named the Rio del Santísimo Sacramento, Sacramento River in 1808, after the Blessed Sacrament, referring to the Eucharist in the Catholic Church. In 1839, Juan Bautista Alvarado, Mexican governor of Alta California granted the responsibility of colonizing the Sacramento Valley to Swiss-born, Mexican citizen John Augustus Sutter, who subsequently established Sutter's Fort and the settlement at the Rancho Nueva Helvetia. Following the American conquest of California and the 1848 Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, the waterfront developed by Sutter began to be developed and incorporated in 1850 as the city of Sacramento. As a result of the California Gold Rush, Sacramento became a major commercial center and distribution point for Northern California, serving as the terminus for the Pony Express and the first transcontinental railroad. History Pre-Columbian period Nisanan and Plains Miwok Native Americans had lived in the area for perhaps thousands of years. Unlike the settlers who would eventually make Sacramento their home, these Native Americans left little evidence of their existence. Traditionally, their diet was dominated by acorns taken from the plentiful oak trees in the region, and by fruits, bulbs, seeds, and roots gathered throughout the year. Spanish period. In 1808, the Spanish explorer Gabriel Moraga discovered and named the Sacramento Valley and the Sacramento River. A Spanish writer with the Moraga expedition wrote, "...canopies of oaks and cottonwoods, many festooned with grapevines, overhung both sides of the blue current. Birds chattered in the trees and big fish darted through the pellucid depths. The air was like champagne, and the Spaniards drank deep of it, drank in the beauty around them." Quote, S. Como el Sagrado Sacramento. It's like the Blessed Sacrament. Quote, the valley and the river were then christened after the most holy sacrament of the body and blood of Christ, referring to the Catholic sacrament of the Eucharist. <laughs> Mexican period John Sutter Sr. first arrived in the area on August 13, 1839, at the divergence of the American and Sacramento Rivers with a Mexican land grant of 50,000 acres. The next year, he and his party established Sutter's Fort, a massive adobe structure with walls 18 feet high and 3 feet thick, representing Mexico. Sutter Sr. called his colony New Helvetia, a Swiss inspired name, and was the political authority and dispenser of justice in the new settlement. 
Soon, the colony began to grow as more and more pioneers headed west. Within just a few short years, Sutter Sr. had become a grand success, owning a 10-acre orchard and a herd of 13,000 cattle. Fort Sutter became a regular stop for the increasing number of immigrants coming through the valley. In 1847 Sutter Sr. received 2,000 fruit trees, which started the agriculture industry in the Sacramento Valley. Later that same year, Sutter Sr. hired James Marshall to build a sawmill so that he could continue to expand his empire, however, unbeknownst to many, Sutter Sr.'s empire had been built on some very thin margins of credit. American period In 1848, when gold was discovered by James W. Marshall at Sutter's Mill in Coloma located some 50 miles .5 kilometers northeast of the fort, a large number of gold seekers came to the area, increasing the population. In August 1848 Sutter Sr.'s son, John Sutter Jr. arrived in the area to assist his father in relieving his indebtedness. Now compounding the problem of his father's indebtedness, was the additional strain placed on the Sutters by the ongoing arrival of thousands of new gold miners and prospectors in the area, many quite content to squat on unwatched portions of the vast Sutter lands, or to abscond with various unattended Sutter properties or belongings if they could. In Sutter's case, rather than being a boon for Sutter, his employees' discovery of gold in the area turned out to be more of a personal bane for him. By December 1848, John Sutter Jr., in association with Sam Brannan, began laying out the city of Sacramento, two miles south of his father's settlement of New Helvetia. This venture was undertaken against the wishes of Sutter Sr., however the father, being deeply in debt, was in no position to stop the venture. For commercial reasons the new city was named, Sacramento City, after the Sacramento River. Sutter Jr. and Brannan hired topographical engineer William H. Warner to draft the official layout of the city, which included 26 lettered and 31 numbered streets today's grid from C Street to Broadway and from Front Street to Alhambra Boulevard. Unfortunately, a certain bitterness grew between the elder Sutter and his son as Sacramento became an overnight commercial success Sutter's Fort, Mill and the town of Sutterville, all founded by John Sutter Sr., would eventually fail. The citizens of Sacramento adopted a city charter in 1849, which was recognized by the state legislature in 1850. Sacramento is the oldest incorporated city in California, incorporated on February 27, 1850. During the early 1850s, the Sacramento Valley was devastated by floods, fires and cholera epidemics. Despite this, because of its position just downstream from the mother lode in the Sierra Nevada, the new city grew, quickly reaching a population of 10,000. The California State Legislature, with the support of Governor John Beigler, moved to Sacramento in 1854. The capital of California under Spanish and, subsequently, Mexican rule had been Monterey, where in 1849 the first constitutional convention and state elections were held. The convention decided that San Jose would be the new state's capital. After 1850, when California's statehood was ratified, the legislature met in San Jose until 1851, Vallejo in 1852, and Benicia in 1853, before moving to Sacramento. In the Sacramento Constitutional Convention of 1879, Sacramento was named to be the permanent state capital. Begun in 1860 to be reminiscent of the United States Capitol in Washington, D.C., the classical revival-style California State Capitol was completed in 1874. In 1861, the legislative session was moved to the Merchants Exchange Building in San Francisco for one session because of massive flooding in Sacramento. The legislative chambers were first occupied in 1869 while construction continued. From 1862 to 1868, part of the Leland Stanford Mansion was used for the governor's offices during Stanford's tenure as the governor, and the legislature met in the Sacramento County Courthouse. With its new status and strategic location, Sacramento quickly prospered and became the western end of the Pony Express. Later it became a terminus of the first transcontinental railroad, which began construction in Sacramento in 1863 and was financed by the Big Four. Mark Hopkins, Charles Crocker, Collis P. Huntington, and Leland Stanford. Both the American and especially Sacramento rivers would be key elements in the economic success of the city. 
In fact, Sacramento effectively controlled commerce on these rivers, and public works projects were funded though taxes levied on goods unloaded from boats and loaded onto rail cars in the historic Sacramento rail yards. In 1850 and again in 1861, Sacramento citizens were faced with a completely flooded town. In 1861, Governor Leland Stanford, who was inaugurated in early January 1861, had to attend his inauguration in a rowboat, which was not too far from his house in town on N Street. The flood waters were so bad, the legend says, that when he returned to his house, he had to enter into it through the second floor window. From 1862 until the mid-1870s Sacramento raised the level of its downtown by building reinforced brick walls on its downtown streets, and filling the resulting street walls with dirt. Thus the previous first floors of buildings became the basements, with open space between the street and the building, previously the sidewalk, now at the basement level. Over the years, many of these underground spaces have been filled or destroyed by subsequent development. However, it is still possible to view portions of the Sacramento Underground Topic Modern era The city's current charter was adopted by voters in 1920. As a charter city, Sacramento is exempt from many laws and regulations passed by the state legislature. The city has expanded continuously over the years. The 1964 merger of the city of North Sacramento with Sacramento substantially increased its population, and large annexations of the Natomas area eventually led to significant population growth throughout the 1970s, 1980s, and 1990s. Sacramento County along with a portion of adjacent Placer County is served by a customer-owned electric utility, the Sacramento Municipal Utility District SMUD. Sacramento voters approved the creation of SMUD in 1923. In April 1946, after 12 years of litigation, a judge ordered Pacific Gas and Electric to transfer title of Sacramento's electric distribution system to SMUD. Today SMUD is the sixth largest public electric utility in the U.S., and is a leader for innovative programs and services, including the development of clean fuel resources, such as solar power. The year following the creation of SMUD, 1924, brought several events in Sacramento. Standard Oil executive Vern McGeorge established McGeorge School of Law. American department store Weinstock & Lubin opened a new store at 12th and K Street. The $2 million Senator Hotel was open. Sacramento's drinking water became filtered and treated drinking water. And Sacramento boxer Georgie Lee fought Francisco Guilado, a Filipino professional boxer known as Pancho Villa, at L Street Auditorium on March. March 21, early in World War II, the Sacramento Assembly Center, also known as the Walerga Assembly Center, was established to house Japanese Americans forcibly evacuated from the West Coast under Executive Order 9066. The camp was one of 15 temporary detention facilities where over 110,000 Japanese Americans, two-thirds of them U.S. citizens, were held while construction on the more permanent War Relocation Authority camps was completed. The assembly center was built on the site of a former migrant labor camp, and inmates began arriving from Sacramento and San Joaquin counties on May 6, 1942. It closed after only 52 days, on June 26, and the population of 4,739 was transferred to the Tule Lake concentration camp. The site was then turned over to the Army Signal Corps and dedicated as Camp Kohler. After the war and the end of the incarceration program, returning Japanese Americans were often unable to find housing and so 234 families temporarily lived at the former assembly center. Camp Kohler was destroyed by a fire in December 1947, and the assembly center site is now part of the Foothill Farms North Highlands subdivision. The Sacramento Yolo Port District was created in 1947, and ground was broken on the Port of Sacramento in 1949. On June 29, 1963, with 5,000 spectators waiting to welcome her, the motor vessel Taipei Victory arrived. The nationalist Chinese flagship docked at the port of Sacramento, being first ocean-going vessel in Sacramento since the steamship Harpoon in 1934. In 1967, Ronald Reagan became the last governor of California to live permanently in the city. The 1980s and 1990s saw the closure of several local military bases, McClellan Air Force Base, Mather Air Force Base, and Sacramento Army Depot. In 1980, there was another flood. In spite of military base closures and the decline of agricultural food processing, Sacramento has continued to experience population growth in recent years. 
Primary sources of population growth are an influx of residents from the nearby San Francisco Bay Area, as well as immigration from Asia and Latin America. After acquiring the majority stake in the Sacramento Kings, the team's new owner, Vivek Ranadive with the help of the city, agreed to build a new arena in the downtown area. With a final estimated cost of $558.2 million, Sacramento's Golden One Center opened on September 30, 2016. Geography According to the United States Census Bureau, the city covers an area of 100.1 square miles 259 square kilometers, 97.81% of it land, and 2.19% of it water. Depth to groundwater is typically about 30 feet 9 meters. Much of the land to the west of the city in Yolo County is permanently reserved for a vast flood control basin the Yolo Bypass, due to the city's historical vulnerability to floods. As a result, the contiguous urban area sprawls only 4 miles 6 kilometers west of downtown as West Sacramento, California but 30 miles 48 kilometers northeast and east, into the Sierra Nevada foothills, and 10 miles 16 kilometers to the south into valley farmland. The city is located at the confluence of the Sacramento River and the American River, and has a deep water port connected to the San Francisco Bay by a channel through the Sacramento-San Joaquin River Delta. It is the shipping and rail center for the Sacramento Valley. Food processing is among the major industries in the area. <laughs> Cityscape City neighborhoods The city groups most of its neighborhoods into four areas Area 1, Alkali Flat, Boulevard Park, Campus Commons, Sacramento State, Dos Rios Triangle, Downtown, East Sacramento, Fab Forties, Mansion Flats, Marshall School, Midtown, New Era Park, McKinley Village, Newton Booth, Old Sacramento, Poverty Ridge, Richards, Richmond Grove, River Park, Elmhurst, Sierra Oaks, Southside Park. Area 2, Airport, Carlton Tract, Freeport Manor, Golf Course Terrace, Greenhaven, Curtis Park, Hollywood Park, Land Park, Little Pocket, Mangan Park, Meadowview, Parkway, Pocket, Sacramento City College, South Land Park, Valley High, North Laguna, Zeeberg Park. Area 3, Alhambra Triangle, Avondale, Brentwood, Carlton Tract, Colonial Heights, Colonial Village, Colonial Village North, Curtis Park, Elmhurst, Fairgrounds, Florin, Industrial Park, Fruitridge Manor, Glen Elder, Glenbrook, Granite Regional Park, Lawrence Park, Med Center, North City Farms, Oak Park, Packard Bell, South City Farms, Southeast Village, Tahoe Park, Tahoe Park East, Tahoe Park South, Talic Village, Vintage Park, Churchill Downs, and Woodbine. Area 4, Ben Alley, Del Paso Heights, Gardenland, Hagenwood, McClellan Heights West, Natomas North, South, West, North Sacramento, Northgate, Robla, Swanson Estates, Terrace Manor, Valley View Acres, and Woodlake. Additional prominent regions and neighborhoods in the city include American River Parkway, Arden Arcade, Arden Fair, Cal Expo, Capitol Avenue, Coffing, College Glen, College Greens, Colonial Manor, Cordova, Creekside, East Fruitridge, Elder Creek, Elkhorn, Elvis, Eric Jackson Industrial Park, Excelsior Sunrise, Foothill Farms, Franklin, Freights Ranch, Gateway Center, Gateway West, Glenwood Meadows, Hanson Park, Heritage Park, Johnson Business Park, Johnson Heights, Mayhew, Metro Center, Mills, Natomas Corporate Center, Natomas Creek, Natomas Crossing, Natomas Park, Newton Booth, Neralto, North Point, Norwood, Oak Knoll, Old North Sacramento, Parker Homes, Point West, Rally Industrial Park, Regency Park, Richardson Village, Richmond Grove, Rose Rosemont, Sierra Oaks, Sports Complex, Strawberry Manor, Sundance Lake, Swanson Palms, Town and Country Village, Upper Land Park, Village 5 Village 7, Village 12 Village 14, Village Green, Willerga, Walsh Station, West Del Paso Heights, Westlake, Willow Creek, Wills Acres, Wind Park, Woodside and Young's Heights. Climate Sacramento has a hot summer Mediterranean climate Copen CSA, characterized by damp to wet, mild winters and hot, dry summers. 
The wet season is generally October through April, though there may be a day or two of light rainfall in June or September. The normal annual mean temperature is 61.0 degrees Fahrenheit .1 degrees Celsius, with the monthly daily average temperature ranging from 46.4 degrees Fahrenheit .0 degrees Celsius in December to 75.5 degrees Fahrenheit .2 degrees Celsius in July. Summer heat is often moderated by a sea breeze known as the Delta Breeze which comes through the Sacramento-San Joaquin River Delta from the San Francisco Bay, and temperatures cool down sharply at night. The foggiest months are December and January. Thule fog can be extremely dense, lowering visibility to less than 100 feet 30 meters and making driving conditions extremely hazardous. Chilling Thule fog events have been known to last for several consecutive days or weeks. During Thule fog events, temperatures do not exceed 50 degrees. Snowfall is rare in Sacramento, which is only 25 feet .6 meters above sea level. In the downtown area, there have been only three significant snow accumulations since 1900, the last one being in 1976. During especially cold winter and spring storms, intense showers do occasionally produce a significant amount of hail, which can create hazardous driving conditions. Snowfall that does fall in the city often melts upon ground contact, with traceable amounts occurring in some years. Significant annual snow accumulations occur in the foothills located 40 miles 64 kilometers east of the city, which had brief and traceable amounts of snowfall in January 2002, December 2009 and February 2011. The greatest snowfall ever recorded in Sacramento was 3 inches 8 centimeters on January 5, 1888. On average, there are 73 days where the high exceeds 90 degrees Fahrenheit 32 degrees Celsius, and 14 days where the high exceeds 100 degrees Fahrenheit 38 degrees Celsius. On the other extreme, there are 15 days where the temperature does not exceed 50 degrees Fahrenheit 10 degrees Celsius, and 15 freezing nights per year. Official temperature extremes range from 18 degrees Fahrenheit minus 8 degrees Celsius on December 22, 1990 to 115 degrees Fahrenheit 46 degrees Celsius on June 15, 1961. A station around 5 miles kilometers east-southeast of the city dipped to 17 degrees Fahrenheit minus 8 degrees Celsius on December 11, 1932. The average annual precipitation is 18.52 inches 470 millimeters. On average, precipitation falls on 60 days each year in Sacramento, and nearly all of this falls during the winter months. Average January rainfall is 3.67 in 93 mm, and measurable precipitation is rare during the summer months. In February 1992, Sacramento had 16 consecutive days of rain, resulting in an accumulation of 6.41 in 163 mm for the period. On rare occasions, monsoonal moisture surges from the desert southwest can bring upper-level moisture to the Sacramento region, leading to increased summer cloudiness, humidity, and even light showers and thunderstorms. Monsoon clouds do occur, usually during late July through early September. Sacramento is the second most flood-susceptible city in the United States after New Orleans. Sacramento has been noted as being the sunniest location on the planet for three months of the year, from July through September. It holds the distinction as the sunniest month, in terms of percent possible sunshine, of anywhere in the world. July in Sacramento averages 14 hours and 12 minutes of sunshine per day, amounting to approximately 98% of possible sunshine. <laughs> Demographics In 2002, the Civil Rights Project at Harvard University conducted for Time magazine named Sacramento, "...America's most diverse city." The U.S. Census Bureau also groups Sacramento with other U.S. cities having a "...high diversity," rating of the Diversity Index. Moreover, Sacramento is one of the most well-integrated U.S. cities, having a relatively high level of ethnic and racial heterogeneity within its neighborhoods. Topic 2010. The 2010 United States Census reported that Sacramento had a population of 466,488. 
The population density was 4,660.0 people per square mile per square kilometers. The racial makeup of Sacramento was 210,006 white 68,335 14.6% African American 85,503 17.8% Asian 4.2% Chinese 3.3% Hmong 2.8% Filipino 1.6% Indian 1.4% Vietnamese 1.2% Laotian 1.2% Japanese 0.3% Pakistani 0.3% Korean 0.3% Thai 0.2% Cambodian 6,655 1.4% Pacific Islander 0.6% Fijian, 0.2% Tongan, 0.2% Samoan 5,291 1.1% Native American 57,573 12.3% Other races 33,125 7.1% from two or more races, Hispanic or Latino of any race were 125,276 persons 26.9%, 22.6% of Sacramento's population is of Mexican heritage, 0.7% Puerto Rican, 0.5% Salvadoran, 0.2% Guatemalan, and 0.2% Nicaraguan. Non-Hispanic whites were 34.5% of the population in 2010, down from 71.4% in 1970. The census reported that 458,174 people .2 of the population lived in households, 4,268 .9 lived in non-institutionalized group quarters, and 4,046 .9 were institutionalized. Also, with the recent housing crash there have been no changes to these numbers. There were 174,624 households, out of which 57,870 had children under the age of 18 living in them, 65,556 were opposite-sex married couples living together, 27,640 had a female householder with no husband present, 10,534 had a male householder with no wife present. There were 13,234 percent unmarried opposite sex partnerships and 2,498 1.4% same sex married couples or partnerships. 53,342 households 30.5% were made up of individuals and 14,926 8.5% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.62. There were 103,730 families, 59.4% of all households. The average family size was 3.37. Sacramento has one of the highest LGBT populations per capita, ranking 7th among major American cities and 3rd in California behind San Francisco and slightly behind Oakland, with roughly 10% of the city's total population identifying themselves as gay lesbian, or bisexual, the age distribution of the city was follows, 116,121 people .9 were under the age of 18, 52,438 people .2 aged 18 to 24, 139,093 people .8 aged 25 to 44, 109,416 people .5 aged 45 to 64, and 49,000 420 people 10 who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 33.0 years. For every 100 females, there were 94.9 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 92.2 males. There were 190,911 housing units at an average density of 1,907.1 per square miles, 736.3 per square kilometers, of which 86,271, 49.4% were owner occupied and 88,353, 50.6% were occupied by renters. 
The homeowner vacancy rate was 2.8%, the rental vacancy rate was 8.3%, 231,593 people .6 of the population lived in owner-occupied housing units and 226,581 people .6 lived in rental housing units. Topic. 2000. As of the census of 2000, there are 407,018 people, 154,581 households, and 91,202 families residing in the city. The population density is 4,189.2 people per square mile per square kilometers. There are 163,957 housing units at an average density of 1,687.5 per square miles, 651.5 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the city is 41.1% white, 19.5% African American, 1.3% Native American, 12.6% Asian, 0.9% Native Hawaiian and Pacific Islander, 11.0% from other races, and 6.4% from two or more races. 21.6% of the population are Hispanic or Latino of any race. There are 154,581 households out of which 30.2% have children under the age of 18 living with them, 38.4% are married couples living together, 15.4% have a female householder with no husband present, and 41.0% are non-families, 32.0% of all households are made up of individuals and 9.2% have someone living alone who is 65 years of age or older. The average household size is 2.57 and the average family size is 3.35. In the city, the age distribution of the population shows 27.3% under the age of 18, 10.4% from 18 to 24, 30.7% from 25 to 44, 20.2% from 45 to 64, and 11.4% who are 65 years of age or older. The median age is 33 years. For every 100 females, there are 94.5 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there are 91.0 males. The median income for a household in the city is $37,049, and the median income for a family is $42,051. Males have a median income of $35,946 versus $31,318 for females. The per capita income for the city is $18,721, 20.0% of the population and 15.3% of families are below the poverty line. Out of the total population, 29.5% of those under the age of 18 and 9.0% of those 65 and older are living below the poverty line. Economy. The Sacramento metropolitan area is the fifth largest in California after the Los Angeles metropolitan area, the San Francisco Bay Area, the Inland Empire, and the San Diego metropolitan area, and is the 27th largest in the United States. In 2002, the Civil Rights Project at Harvard University conducted for Time magazine named Sacramento, America's most diverse city. Sutter Health, Blue Diamond Growers, Aerojet Rocketdyne, Tykert, and the McClatchy Company are among the companies based in Sacramento. The Port of Sacramento has been plagued with operating losses in recent years and faces bankruptcy. This severe loss in business is due to the heavy competition from the Port of Stockton, which has a larger facility and a deeper channel. As of 2006, the City of West Sacramento took responsibility for the Port of Sacramento. During the Vietnam War era, the Port of Sacramento was the major terminus in the supply route for all military parts, hardware and other cargo going to Southeast Asia. Topic: <laughs> Top employers. As of 2012, the top employers in the county of Sacramento were Topic: Culture. Topic. Performing arts 
There are several major theater venues for Sacramento. The Sacramento Convention Center complex governs both the Community Center Theater and Memorial Auditorium. The Wells Fargo Pavilion is the most recent addition in 2003. It is built atop the old Music Circus Tent Foundations. Next to that is the McClatchy Main Stage, originally built as a television studio, which was renovated at the same time the pavilion was built. It is the smaller of the venues and provides seating for only 300. The Sacramento Ballet, Sacramento Philharmonic Orchestra and the Sacramento Opera perform at the Community Center Theater. Professional theater is represented in Sacramento by a number of companies. Broadway Sacramento and its Summer Stock Theater, Broadway at Music Circus, lure many directors, performers, and artists from New York and Los Angeles to work alongside a large local staff for their productions at the Wells Fargo Pavilion. During the fall, winter and spring seasons Broadway Sacramento brings bus and truck tours to the Community Center Theater. At the B Street Theater, smaller and more intimate professional productions are performed as well as a children's theater. In February 2018, the theater moved from its original location and opened a larger theater complex in the heart of Midtown. Rounding out the professional companies is Capital Stage, which performed aboard the Delta King until the end of the 2010-2011 season and soon took up residence at its own venue along the J Street Corridor. The Sacramento area has one of the largest collection of community theaters in California. Some of these include the Thistle Dew Dessert Theater and Playwrights Workshop, Davis Musical Theater Co., El Dorado Musical Theater, Runaway Stage Productions, River City Theater Company, Flying Monkey Productions, The Actors Theater, KOLT Run Productions, Kookaburra Productions, Big Idea Theater, Celebration Arts, Lambda Player, Light Opera Theater of Sacramento, Synergy Stage and the Historic Eagle Theater. The Sacramento Shakespeare Festival provides entertainment under the stars every summer in William Land Park. Many of these theaters compete annually for the Ellie Awards overseen by the Sacramento Area Regional Theater Alliance or SARTA. <laughs> <laughs> Visual arts The Sacramento Metropolitan Arts Commission is an organization which was established as the Sacramento Arts Council in 1977 to provide several arts programs for the city. These include art in public places, arts education, grants and cultural programs, poet laureate program, arts stabilization programs and other resources and opportunities. Sacramento's Second Saturday Art Walk is a program of local art galleries that stay open into the late evenings every second Saturday of each month, providing a unique experience for the local population as well as tourists to view original art and meet the artists themselves. Museums Sacramento has several major museums. The Crocker Art Museum is the oldest public art museum west of the Mississippi River. On July 26, 2007, the museum broke ground for an expansion that more than tripled the museum's floor space. The modern architecture is very different from the museum's original Victorian-style building. Construction was completed in 2010. Also of interest is the Governor's Mansion State Historic Park, a large Victorian mansion which was home to 13 of California's governors, as well as the official residence for current Governor Jerry Brown following renovations in 2015. The Leland Stanford Mansion State Historic Park, which was completely restored in 2006, serves as the state's official address for diplomatic and business receptions. Guided public tours are available. The California Museum for History, Women, and the Arts, home of the California Hall of Fame, is a cultural destination dedicated to telling the rich history of California and its unique influence on the world of ideas, innovation, art and culture. The museum educates tens of thousands of school children through inspiring programs, sharing with world visitors California's rich art, history and cultural legacy through dynamic exhibits, and serving as a public forum and international meeting place. The California State Railroad Museum in Old Sacramento has historical exhibits and live steam locomotives that patrons may ride. The California Automobile Museum, located just south of Old Sacramento, is filled with automotive history and vehicles from 1880 to 2006 and is the oldest non-profit automotive museum in the West. The mission of it is to preserve, promote, and teach automotive culture and its influence on our lives—past, present and future. 
In addition, the Sacramento History Museum, in the heart of Old Sacramento, focuses on the history of Sacramento from the region's pre-Gold Rush history through the present day. There is a Museum Day held in Sacramento every year, when 26 museums in the greater Sacramento area offer free admission. The 2009 Sacramento Museum Day brought out more than 80,000 people, the largest number the event has gathered. Sacramento Museum Day is held every year on the first Saturday of February. Topic music Tower Records was started and based in Sacramento until its closing. Rappers C. Bo, Marvalis, and Lunasic are among those native to the area. Classical music is widely available. The Sacramento Philharmonic Orchestra, the Sacramento Baroque Soloists, the Sacramento Choral Society and Orchestra, the Sacramento Youth Symphony, the Sacramento Master Singers, the Sacramento Children's Chorus, and the Camellia Symphony each present a full season of concerts. Each year, the city hosts the Sammies, the Sacramento Music Awards. Sacramento also has a reputation as a center for Dixieland jazz, because of the Sacramento Jazz Jubilee which is held every Memorial Day weekend. Events and performances are held in multiple locations throughout the city. Each year thousands of jazz fans from all over the world visit for this one weekend. A growing number of rock, hardcore and metal bands hail from the Sacramento area, including Tesla, Deftones, Papa Roach, Will Haven, Trash Talk, Dance Gavin Dance, A Lot Like Birds, Far, Cake, Oleander and Steel Breeze, plus some other famous musicians like record producer and recording artist Charlie Peacock, Bob Stubbs of Social Distortion and Craig Chikiso of Jefferson Starship. Along with these bands, the Aftershock Festival has been held at Discovery Park since 2012. Scottish pop band Middle of the Road sang Kindly of Sacramento in their 1972 European hit song, Sacramento. Experimental groups such as Hella, Death Grips, and Terra Mellows also come out of Sacramento. <laughs> <laughs> Film Sacramento is home to the Sacramento French Film Festival, a cultural event held every year in July that features U.S. premieres of French films and classic masterpieces of French cinema and the Sacramento Japanese Film Festival, also held in July. In addition, Sacramento is home to the Trash Film Orgy, a summer film festival celebrating the absurd, B-movies, horror, monster, exploitation. Founded in 2007, the Sacramento Horror Film Festival showcases feature-length and short films as well as live musical and theatrical performances in the horror and macabre genres. Of note, Sacramento has been home to various actors, including Eddie Murphy, who resided in the Riverlake community of Pocket Greenhaven with his then-wife Nicole Mitchell Murphy, a fashion model and Sacramento native. It is also the home of director Greta Gerwig, whose solo directorial debut Lady Bird is set in Sacramento. Topic cuisine In 2012, Sacramento started the marketing campaign as America's Farm to Fork Capital due to Sacramento's many restaurants that source their food locally from the numerous surrounding farms. The city has an annual Farm to Fork Festival that showcases various grocers and growers in the industry. In 2012, the kitchen was nominated for Outstanding Restaurant by the James Beard Foundation. It continues to excel, earning the AAA's Five Diamond Dining Award since 2011. Sacramento is home to well-known cookbook authors, Biba Caggiano of Biba's Restaurant and My Fam of Lemongrass and Star Ginger. Sacramento is also known for its beverage culture, with keystone events that include Cal Expo's Grape and Gourmet, Sacramento Beer Week, and Sacramento Cocktail Week. Its growing beer scene is evident, with over 60 microbreweries in the region as of 2017. Some local brews include Track 7 Brewing Company, Big Stump Brew Co., Oak Park Brewing Co., and Sacktown Union Brewery. Numerous beer festivals around the region highlight both local and visitor beers. In addition to festivals in Elk Grove, Davis, Roseville, Placerville, and Woodland, Sacramento hosts the annual California Beer Craft Summit, an exposition dedicated to the art of brewing. The summit also hosts the largest beer festival on the West Coast, featuring over 160 breweries in downtown Sacramento. Sacramento's contemporary culture is reflected in its coffee. An underrated coffee city, Sacramento has above average marks for local coffee. The city has numerous community roasters and coffee shops. Examples include Temple Coffee, Insight Coffee Roasters, Old Soul Co., Chocolate Fish Roasters, Naked Lounge, Pachamama Roasting Co., and Identity Coffees. 
In addition to local brands, the region offers other chains like Starbucks, Pete's Coffee and Tea, and Phil's Coffee. Topic LGBTQ Sacramento has one of the highest LGBT populations per capita, ranking seventh among major American cities, and third in California behind San Francisco and slightly behind Oakland, with roughly 10% of the city's total population identifying themselves as gay, lesbian, transgender, or bisexual. Lavender Heights is the hub for LGBTQ activities in the city and is a centrally located district in Midtown Sacramento centered within and around K and 20th Streets. The area owes its name to the high number of gay-owned homes and businesses residing there. The area is also home to many of the city's LGBTQ inclusive music and arts festivals, including the second Saturday block party from May to September. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Old Sacramento. The oldest part of the town besides Sutter's Fort is Old Sacramento, which consists of cobbled streets and many historic buildings, several from the 1850s and 1860s. Buildings have been preserved, restored or reconstructed, and the district is now a substantial tourist attraction, with rides on steam hauled historic trains and horse-drawn carriages. The historic buildings include the Lady Adams Building, built by the passengers and ship's carpenters of the ship Lady Adams. Having survived the Great Conflagration of November 1852, it is the oldest surviving building in Sacramento other than Sutter's Fort. Another surviving landmark is the B.F. Hastings Building, built in 1853. Early home of the California Supreme Court and the location of the office of Theodore Judah, it also was the western terminus of the Pony Express. The Big Four Building, built in 1852, was home to the offices of Collis Huntington, Mark Hopkins, Leland Stanford, and Charles Crocker. The Central Pacific Railroad and Southern Pacific Railroad were founded there. The original building was destroyed in 1963 for the construction of Interstate 5, but was re-created using original elements in 1965. It is now a National Historic Landmark. Also of historic interest is the Eagle Theater Sacramento, California, a reconstruction of California's first permanent theater in its original location. <laughs> Chinatown Throughout the early 1840s and 1850s, China was at war with Great Britain and France in the First and Second Opium Wars. The wars, along with endemic poverty in China, helped drive many Chinese immigrants to America. Many first came to San Francisco, which was then the largest city in California, and known as Dai Fao, the big city, and some came eventually to Sacramento, then the second largest city in California, also known as Yi Fao, second city. Many of these immigrants came in hope of a better life as well as the possibility of finding gold in the foothills east of Sacramento. Sacramento's Chinatown was located on I Street from 2nd to 6th Streets. At the time, this area of I Street was considered a health hazard because, lying within a levee zone, it was lower than other parts of the city, which were situated on higher land. Throughout Sacramento's Chinatown history, there were fires, acts of discrimination, and prejudicial legislation such as the Chinese Exclusion Act that was not repealed until 1943. The mysterious fires were thought to be set off by those who did not take a liking to the Chinese working class. Ordinances on what was viable building material were set into place to try to get the Chinese to move out. Newspapers such as the Sacramento Union wrote stories at the time that portrayed the Chinese in an unfavorable light to inspire ethnic discrimination and drive the Chinese away. As the years passed, a railroad was created over parts of the Chinatown, and further politics and laws would make it even harder for Chinese workers to sustain a living in Sacramento. While the east side of the country fought for higher wages and fewer working hours, many cities in the western United States wanted the Chinese out because of the belief that they were stealing jobs from the white working class. While most of Sacramento's Chinatown has now been razed, a small Chinatown mall remains as well as a museum dedicated to the history of Sacramento's Chinatown and the contributions Chinese Americans have made to the city. Amtrak sits along what was part of Sacramento's Chinatown. I. Street. <laughs> Sports. Sacramento is home to one major league sports team. 
the Sacramento Kings of the National Basketball Association. The Kings came to Sacramento from Kansas City in 1985. On January 21, 2013, a controlling interest of the Sacramento Kings was sold to Chris Hansen, who intended to move the franchise to Seattle for the 2013-2014 NBA season and rename the team the Seattle Supersonics. Sacramento Mayor Kevin Johnson fought the move, forming an ownership group led by Vivek Ranadive to keep the Kings in Sacramento. On May 16, 2013, the NBA Board of Governors voted 22 to 8 to keep the Kings in Sacramento. Sacramento has two other professional teams. Sacramento Republic FC began play in April 2014 at Hughes Stadium before a sellout crowd of 20,231, setting a USL Pro regular season single game attendance record. The Republic FC won the USL Championship in their first season. In 2000, AAA Minor League Baseball returned to Sacramento with the Sacramento River Cats, an affiliate of the San Francisco Giants and formerly an affiliate of the Oakland Athletics. The River Cats play in Rally Field, in West Sacramento. Sacramento is the former home of two professional basketball teams. The Sacramento Heatwave of the American Basketball Association previously played in the Sacramento area until 2013. Sacramento was also formerly home to the now-defunct Sacramento Monarchs of the WNBA. The Monarchs were one of the eight founding members of the WNBA in 1997 and won the WNBA championship in 2005, but folded in November 2009. Sacramento has frequently hosted the NCAA Men's Outdoor Track and Field Championship as well as the first and second rounds of the NCAA Men's Division I Basketball Championship. The California International Marathon attracts a field of international elite runners who vie for a share of the $50,000 prize purse. The fast course is popular for runners seeking to achieve a Boston Marathon qualifying time and fitness runners. <laughs> Parks and recreation Sacramento boasts an extensive park system consisting of over 5,000 acres 2,023 hectares of parkland and recreation centers. The city features a collection of smaller parks in the downtown districts, including Crocker Park, Pioneer Landing and Southside Park. Popular parks outside the central core include American River Parkway which spans 23 miles along the American River, and William Land Park. In its 2013 ParkScore ranking, the Trust for Public Land reported that Sacramento was tied with San Francisco and Boston for having the third best park system among the 50 most populous U.S. cities. ParkScore ranks city park systems by a formula that analyzes the city's median park size, park acres as percent of city area, the percent of residents within a half mile of a park, spending of park services per resident, and the number of playgrounds per 10,000 residents. Sacramento is a hotbed for high school rugby. Jesuit High is the recent defending national champion, winning five times in total. Their arch-rival school Christian Brothers came in second nationwide. Burbank, Del Campo and Vacaville have also placed well in the national competition over the years. The Sacramento Valley High School Rugby Conference hosts the largest and arguably deepest preseason youth and high school rugby tournament in America. Sacramento hosts some recreational facilities and events. The Jedediah Smith Memorial Trail that runs between Old Sacramento and Folsom Lake grants access to the American River Parkway, a natural area that includes more than 5,000 acres 20 square kilometers of undeveloped land. It attracts cyclists and equestrians from across the state. The California State Fair is held in Sacramento each year at the end of the summer, ending on Labor Day. In 2010, the State Fair moved to July. More than one million people attended this fair in 2001. Among other recreational options in Sacramento is Discovery Park, a 275-acre park studded with stands of mature trees and grasslands. This park is situated where the American River flows into the Sacramento River. In amateur sports, Sacramento claims many prominent Olympians such as Mark Spitz, Debbie Meyer, six-time gold medalist in for U.S. swimming, Mike Burton, Summer Sanders, gold medalist in swimming, and trained in childhood by Debbie Meyer at Rio del Oro Racquet Club, Jeff Float, all swimming, and Billy Mills, track. Coach Sherm Chavor founded his world-famous Arden Hill Swim Club just east of the city and trained Burton, Spitz, and others.
Topic: <laughs> Government. The government of Sacramento operates as a charter city as opposed to a general law city under the charter of the city of Sacramento. The elected government is composed of the Sacramento City Council with eight city council districts and the mayor of Sacramento, which operate under a mayor-council government. In addition, there are numerous departments and appointed officers such as the City Manager, Sacramento Police Department SPD, the Sacramento Fire Department SFD, City Clerk, City Attorney, and City Treasurer. As of 2016, the mayor is Daryl Steinberg and the council members are Angelique Ashby, Alan Warren, Jeff Harris, Steve Hansen, Jay Shenire, Rich Jennings, and Larry Carr. The city of Sacramento is part of Sacramento County, for which the government of Sacramento County is defined and authorized under the California Constitution, California law, and the charter of the County of Sacramento. As the capital city of California, Sacramento is home to the government of California, as the seat of the governor of California, the California Assembly, and one of the three homes of the California Supreme Court, as well as the numerous California state agencies. <laughs> state and federal representation In the California State Senate, Sacramento is the heart of the 6th District, represented by Democrat Richard Pan. In the California State Assembly, it is split between the 7th Assembly District, represented by Democrat Kevin McCarty, and the 9th Assembly District, represented by Democrat Jim Cooper. In the United States House of Representatives, Sacramento forms the majority of the California's 6th Congressional District, represented by Democrat Doris Matsui. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Education. Topic. Higher education The Sacramento area hosts a wide variety of higher educational opportunities. There are two major public universities, many private institutions, community colleges, vocational schools, and McGeorge School of Law. Sacramento is home to Sacramento State California State University, Sacramento, founded as Sacramento State College in 1947. In 2004, enrollment was 22,555 undergraduates and 5,417 graduate students in the university's eight colleges. The university's mascot is the Hornet, and the school colors are green and gold. The 300 acres square kilometers campus is located along the American River Parkway a few miles east of downtown. The University of California has a campus, UC Davis, in nearby Davis and has a graduate center in downtown Sacramento. The UC Davis Graduate School of Management GSM, is near the UC Davis Medical Center off of Stockton Boulevard near Highway 50. Many students, about 400 out of 517, at the UC Davis GSM are working professionals and are completing their MBA part-time. The part-time program is ranked in the top 20 and is well known for its small class size, world-class faculty, and involvement in the business community. UC also maintains the University of California Sacramento Center UCCS for undergraduate and graduate studies. Similar to the UC's Washington, D.C., program, Scholar Interns, engage in both academic studies and as well as internships, often with the state government. The UC Davis School of Medicine is located at the UC Davis Medical Center between the neighborhoods of Elmhurst, Tahoe Park, and Oak Park. The Los Rios Community College District consists of several two-year colleges in the Sacramento area. American River College, Cosumnes River College, Sacramento City College, Folsom Lake College, plus a large number of outreach centers for those colleges. Sierra College is on the outskirts of Sacramento in Rockland. University of the Pacific has its Sacramento campus in the Oak Park neighborhood of Sacramento. The campus has long included McGeorge School of Law and in 2015 was expanded to become a comprehensive graduate and professional campus, including programs in analytics, business, education, health sciences, and public policy. The National University Sacramento Regional Campus offers bachelor's and master's degrees in business, education, health care, and teaching credential programs. The University of San Francisco has one of its four regional campuses in Sacramento. 
At the undergraduate level they offer degrees in applied economics, information systems, organizational behavior and leadership, and public administration. At the graduate level, master's programs are offered in, information security and assurance, information systems, organization development, project management, public administration, nonprofit administration, and counseling. The private University of Southern California has an extension in downtown Sacramento, called the State Capital Center. The campus, taught by main campus professors, Sacramento-based professors, and practitioners in the state capital and state agencies, offers Master of Public Administration, Masters of Public Policy, and Master of Public Health degrees. Epic Bible College and the Professional School of Psychology are also based in Sacramento. Western Seminary has one of its four campuses in Sacramento, which opened on the campus of Arcade Church in 1991. Western is an evangelical, Christian graduate school that provides theological training for students who hope to serve in a variety of ministry roles including pastors, marriage and family therapists, educators, missionaries and lay leadership. The Sacramento campus offers four master's degrees, and a variety of other graduate level programs. A satellite campus of Alliant International University offers graduate and undergraduate programs of study. The Art Institute of California, Sacramento was established in 2007, and is a branch of the Art Institute of California, Los Angeles. The school is focused on educating students in the field of commercial arts. The school offers both a Bachelor of Science and an Associate of Science degree, as well as diplomas in some areas of study. Some majors the school offers are digital film making and video production, culinary management, graphic design, and game art and design. On J Street, there is the Lincoln Law School of Sacramento, a private, evening-only law school program with a strong legal presence in the region. The Universal Technical Institute UTI, is in Sacramento, it offers automotive programs in auto mechanical, auto body, and diesel. Topic primary and secondary education The Sacramento Public Library System has 28 branches located in the greater area. The Sacramento area is served by various public school districts, including the Sacramento City Unified School District, Natomas Unified School District, San Juan Unified School District, Twin Rivers Unified School District, and Elk Grove Unified School District. As of 2009, the area's schools employed 9,600 elementary school teachers not including special education teachers, and 7,410 middle school teachers not including special education or vocational teachers. Almost all areas south of the American River are served by the Sacramento City Unified School District. The only exceptions are the Valley High, North Laguna and Florin areas that are served by the Elk Grove Unified School District. Areas north of the American River are served by the remaining school districts. This area was not originally part of the city of Sacramento and as such is not served by Sacramento City Unified School District. North Sacramento outside of Natomas and Robla for K-8 is served by the Twin Rivers Unified School District. The Robla area is served by the Robla School District for K-8 and by Twin Rivers for 9-12. The Natomas region is served by the Natomas Unified School District. The Campus Commons area and the small portions of the Sierra Oaks neighborhood that fall into the city of Sacramento are served by the San Juan Unified School District. While Roman Catholic institutions still dominate the independent school scene in the Sacramento area, in 1964, Sacramento Country Day School opened and offered Sacramento citizens an independent school that is affiliated with the California Association of Independent Schools. SCDS has grown to its present-day status as a learning community for students from pre-kindergarten through 12th grade. Additionally, the suburb of Fair Oaks hosts the expansive Riverside campus of the Sacramento Waldorf School, a Steiner school adjacent to the Rudolph Steiner College, and the largest Waldorf school in North America. Sacramento Waldorf School educates students from pre-K through 12th grade on a secluded, pastoral site that incorporates a large, functioning biodynamic farm. Shalom School is the only Jewish day school in Sacramento, however, Brookfield School on property owned by Congregation B'nai Israel provides extracurricular Jewish education. Capital Christian School is a preschool 12th grade private, Christian school. There is a small Bible college on campus offering associate degrees in Bible studies or theology. Sacramento Adventist Academy is another Christian school in Greater Sacramento. This is a preschool 12 institution, as well. 
There is one Islamic school in Sacramento, Masjid Anur, founded in 1988. Topic: Media. Topic: Magazines. Comstock's Magazine Government Technology Magazine Sacramento Magazine Sacktown Magazine Topic Newspapers Top 2 newspapers the Sacramento Bee the primary newspaper was founded in 1857 by James McClatchy the Sacramento Bee is the flagship paper of the McClatchy Company, the second largest newspaper publisher in the United States. The Sacramento Bee has won five Pulitzer Prizes in its history and numerous other awards, including many for its progressive public service campaigns promoting free speech the Bee often criticized government policy, and uncovered many scandals hurting Californians, anti-racism the Bee supported the Union during the American Civil War and later publicly denounced the Ku Klux Klan, workers' rights the Bee has a strong history of supporting unionization, and environmental protection leading numerous tree planting campaigns and fighting against environmental destruction in the Sierra Nevada. The Sacramento Union, the Sacramento Bee's rival, started publishing six years earlier in 1851. It closed its doors in 1994, with a revival attempt lasting from 2005 to 2009. Writer and journalist Mark Twain wrote for the Union in 1866. Other newspaper Sacramento Business Journal Sacramento News and Review The Sacramento Observer. Topic Radio Topic Television Stations Topic Transportation A 2011 study by Walk Score ranked Sacramento 24th most walkable of 50 largest U.S. cities. Topic: Roads and Highways. Sacramento is a control city, and the region is served by several highways and freeways. Interstate 80 I-80 is the major east-west route, connecting Sacramento with San Francisco in the west, and Reno in the east. Business 80 the Capital City Freeway splits from I-80 in West Sacramento, runs through Sacramento, and then rejoins its parent in the northwest portion of the city. U.S. Highway 50 also begins its eastern journey in West Sacramento, co-signed with Business 80, but then splits off and heads toward South Lake Tahoe as the El Dorado Freeway. A sign at the eastern terminus of US 50 in Ocean City, Maryland gives the distance to Sacramento as 3,073 miles 4 kilometers. Interstate 5 I runs though Sacramento, heads north up to Redding, and then heads south near the western edge of the California Central Valley towards Los Angeles. California State Highway 99 runs through Sacramento, heading closer to the eastern edge of the Central Valley, connecting to Marysville and Yuba City in the north, and Fresno and Bakersfield in the south. California State Highway 160 approaches the city after running along the Sacramento River from Contra Costa County in the south, and then becomes a major city street in downtown Sacramento before turning into the North Sacramento Freeway, going over the American River to Business 80. Some Sacramento neighborhoods, such as downtown Sacramento and midtown Sacramento are very bicycle-friendly as are many other communities in the region. As a result of litigation, Sacramento has undertaken to make all city facilities and sidewalks wheelchair accessible. In an effort to preserve its urban neighborhoods, Sacramento has constructed traffic calming measures in many areas. Rail <inaudible> service. <inaudible> 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 Amtrak provides passenger rail service to the city of Sacramento. The Sacramento Valley Rail Station is on the corner of 5th and I Streets near the historic Old Town Sacramento and underwent extensive renovations in 2007. The station serves as a Sacramento Regional Transit District light rail terminus. 
Amtrak California operates the Capital Corridor, a multiple frequency service providing service from the capital city to its northeastern suburbs and the San Francisco Bay Area. Sacramento is the northern terminus of the Amtrak California San Joaquin's route, which provide direct multiple frequency passenger rail service to California's Central Valley as far as Bakersfield. Thruway motorcoach connections are available from the trains at Bakersfield to Southern California and Southern Nevada. An additional service under this banner is expected to be routed through Midtown in 2020. Sacramento is a stop along Amtrak's Coast Starlight route, which provides scenic service to Seattle via Klamath Falls and Portland to the north and to Los Angeles via San Luis Obispo and Santa Barbara to the south. Amtrak's California Zephyr serves Sacramento daily and provides service to the east, serving Reno, Salt Lake, Denver, Omaha, Chicago, and intermediate cities. The Sacramento Valley Rail Station provides numerous thruway motorcoach routes. One route serves the cities of Marysville, Oroville, Chico, Corning, Red Bluff and Redding with additional service to Wairica and even Medford, Oregon. A second serves the cities of Roseville, Rockland, Auburn, Colfax, Truckee, Reno and Sparks. The third and final thruway motorcoach route serves Placerville, Lake Tahoe, Stateline Casinos, and Carson City, Nevada. Each of these routes provides multiple frequencies each day. Sacramento has the second busiest Amtrak station in California and the seventh busiest in the country. Altamont Corridor Express commuter rail service is expected to be routed through Sacramento in 2020. This service will utilize the Union Pacific Sacramento subdivision, the route of the original California Zephyr, where additional passenger capacity is available. Sacramento is expected to serve as the northern terminus of the California high speed rail system. Airport Sacramento International Airport IATA, SMF, ICAO, KSMF, FAA LID, SMF is a public airport 10 miles 16 kilometers northwest of downtown Sacramento, in Sacramento County, California. It is run by Sacramento County. Southwest Airlines currently accounts for half the airline passengers. Other airlines include Delta, United, American Airlines and Alaska. Sacramento International Airport handles flights to and from various U.S. destinations including Hawaii as well as Mexico, Canada and connecting flights to Europe, Asia, and South America, and served more than 10 million passengers in 2016. The airport is best known for its Red Rabbit installation by Lawrence Argent entitled, Leap. Topic Other transportation options The city and its suburbs are served by Sacramento Regional Transit District, which ranks as the 11th busiest in the United States. SAC RT is a bus and light rail system, with 274 buses and 76 light rail vehicles providing service for 58,200 daily passengers. The three light rail lines blue, gold, and green is a 42.9 miles kilometers system with 54 stations. The Gold Line was extended east as far as the city of Folsom, and more recently the Blue Line was extended south from Meadowview Road to Cosumnes River College. Sacramento's light rail system goes to the Sacramento Valley Rail Station, Cosumnes River College Sacramento RT in South Sacramento, and north to Watt, I-80 where I-80 and Business 80 meet. The light rail blue and gold lines have 15-minute weekday headways and 30-minute weekday evening and weekend, holiday headways. The green line has 30-minute weekday headways and no weekend service. There are expansion plans to extend the green line to Sacramento International Airport and the blue line to the city of Roseville, California through the city of Citrus Heights, California. Yolobus provides bus service to West Sacramento and Yolo County. Greyhound Lines provides intercity bus service to Portland, Reno, Los Angeles, and San Francisco from its new station along Richards Boulevard. Intercity bus service to San Francisco and Sparks, Nevada is offered by Megabus. Bicycling is an increasingly popular transportation mode in Sacramento, which enjoys a mild climate and flat terrain. Bicycling is especially common in the older neighborhoods of Sacramento's center, such as Alkali Flat, Midtown, McKinley Park, Land Park, and East Sacramento. Many employees who work downtown commute by bicycle from suburban communities on a dedicated bicycle path on the American River Parkway. Sacramento was designated as a silver-level bicycle-friendly community by the League of American Bicyclists in September 2006. 
The advocacy organization Sacramento Area Bicycle Advocates Co. sponsors the Sacramento Area Council of Governments May as Bike Month campaign. There is commuter bus service from Yolo County on Yalabas, from Solano County on Fast, on two bus lines from Yuba County's Yuba Sutter Transit, from Amador Transit Sacramento Line, on Placer County Transit's Auburn to Light Rail Line, and from San Joaquin County on several smart bus lines. Notable residents Topic: Sister cities. As of 2015, the city of Sacramento has 12 sister cities. They are. Topic: See also. List of cities and towns in California. List of largest California cities by population. List of mayors of Sacramento, California List of people from Sacramento, California Sacramento Metropolitan Fire District University Arboretum at California State University, Sacramento Notes <laughs>